Hi folks, about 4.15, September 5th, Thursday, 72 degrees, nice breeze out there, partly sunny, nice day if, uh, I had a guess for some of you guys that paint, like, um, Wild Eyed Northern Boy, or, um, or Volkswagen Daryl, it would be a good day, it's nice and dry. Anyway, what have I been up to? <clears throat> I gotta run some scrap. Uh, that's one of those things I wanted to do while I was on furlough. And um, the truck filled up too quickly with stuff that doesn't weigh any very much. And I decided to just do steel tomorrow. Just a quick run at steel. So... I um, grabbed a few exhaust parts from over there. I don't know if you guys remember. There used to be a Ford tractor sitting here. So I, I picked it up and moved it out of there. There used to be a um, service store, kind of a hardware store tractor sitting right there. I moved that around also. As a matter of fact, here are... Um, there's the hood off the Ford. Wanted to grab the headlights out of it and the Ford air bomb. So, <coughs> grab these tools on here. Excuse the poor camera work. Let me get this stuff back to the garage. The um, shed's on hold. What I'm thinking is moving it downward. So it's not within sight of any of the windows. I think that'll get me out of trouble. I'm not sure, but we'll give it a shot. Anyway, I loaded the truck up and I already have a tarp on it. So you really can't see what's in there. But let's say the Ford tractor's in there because it is. It does not have a deck on it. But it's pretty heavy. It was uh, back when they were making tractors out of real metal. So the Ford tractor's in there. Um, a big old-fashioned casement window. Um, when they used to m make them out of metal. Make the, uh, the um, framing out of angle iron. So that's in there. Uh, bu a couple of uh, rusty buckets, a rusty wheelbarrow, tub, um, an old hot air heating system from a trailer. So anyway, I threw all that in. You can see the old Ford. She's sitting down a little bit, but not too much. Most of the most of the weight, most of the loads toward the back. You can see the heating system. You could see the Ford tractor. Um, I don't know if you could see. Yeah, you could see the exhaust. The seat. So anyway. You guys can kind of get an idea. My guess is about 800 pounds, about 80 cents a pound, which means 64 bucks. So my guess is somewhere around 60 bucks, right? Eight times eight. Um, which really isn't enough money. I need more money than that. So... I might have to get off my dead butt and get another load of scrap out. This tractor, I was ready to kind of put on top. But, um, I saw it has this engine on. Oh, it's a Tecumseh. Shoot. I thought it was a Briggs. Homie, don't. I don't mind Tecumseh engines, and I know this is a low mileage engine, but. One of the problems you have with 
the Tecumsehs is a you can't get parts for them, and um, they can be finicky. So generally speaking, shoot, if I would have noticed that was a Tecumseh, I would have popped it on top and gone for that you know big eighty dollars worth of scrap. So running scrap, taking apart a few things. Um, I guess that's about it. I gotta move that golf cart. That golf cart has been in the way so many times. I'm just gonna crunch into it and end up screwing it up good. You can see, I already um, tapped it with the bucket on the back hoe and tore this thing off it. This bed needs to be redone. What I'd um, really like for this thing, for it to have a strong, heavy metal flatbed with a um, with a really nice big, uh, you know, strong flatbed steel with a big vice bolt to it that would make it very handy. All right, folks, I'm about wrapping it up for today. We'll see what the scrap shows. We'll see what we gonna do with the hoop building. Um, I guess I'm gonna run for now. Folks, live, love, and have a great time. Remember, tires down, handlebars up. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, keep moving. Thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing.